And now, ladies and gentlemen, baseball and the Pirates lost a dear friend and a great man on February the 11th. A great human being who left an indelible mark on not only the Pittsburgh Pirates, but on hundreds of players who have worn the black and gold over the years. The countless scouts and baseball personnel whom he mentored and the thousands of baseball fans of Western Pennsylvania and around the country. The amount of passion and love he had for the game of baseball can probably be summed up in one of his great quotes. He would say, the greatest feeling in the world is to win a major league game. The second greatest feeling is to lose a major league game. He was our manager. He was our neighbor. He was our friend. And this afternoon, we honor the memory of Chuck Tanner. Chuck was born in 1929 in Newcastle, graduated from Shenango High School. He was a 10-letter star in baseball, basketball, and football. An outfielder during his playing days, Chuck began his professional career with Evansville in 1946. And after spending nine years in the minors, he made his Major League debut with the Milwaukee Braves. And on April 12, 1955, became just the second player in Major League history at the time to hit a home run on the very first pitch he saw in the big leagues. After eight seasons as a player, Chuck went on to the bench to manage. 19 years as a big league skipper with the White Sox, Athletics, Braves, and of course, his beloved Pittsburgh Pirates. In nine years as manager of the Buccos, starting in 1977, when he ushered in the era of lumber and lightning, he led the Bucks to 711 wins. And his crowning achievement, of course, was guiding the family to a 1979 World Series championship. A series that highlighted just what a great leader and motivator he was. With the Pirates down three games to one to the Baltimore Orioles, Chuck received the devastating news that his biggest fan, his mother, had passed away on that morning of game five here in Pittsburgh. But Chuck, in what could have been his darkest hour, instead, like he always did, shined his positive light for all to see. He told his team in a somber Three River Stadium clubhouse just hours before game five not to feel sorry for their manager. He said, my mother is a great Pirates fan. She knows we're in trouble, so she went upstairs to get some help. Well, the Buccos went on to beat the Orioles that day and on to win the World Series. Chuck Tanner considered it an honor to manage his hometown team. But imagine the privilege it must have been to play for this great man. Joining the Tanner family on the field to honor their skipper are members of that 1979 We Are Family Champions. <laughs> Pitcher John Candelaria. Scrap iron Phil Garner. Grant Buck Jackson. Buster Bruce Keeson. The Rook, Jim Rooker. Manny Sangian. The Cobra, Dave Parker. And the rubber band man, Ken Tacolvi. And ladies and gentlemen, here to speak on behalf of the Pirates Alumni Association is Teak, Ken Tacolvi. Thank you very much, Greg. Uh, over the course of Chuck Tanner's managing career, 339 players had the opportunity to play for him. I'm here today to represent the 25 of us who in 1979 were able to be Chuck's Bucks and win the 1979 World Series. Chuck Tanner, not every, actually every player who played for him came away as a better player and a better person. This was a man who held our club together during the tough times during the 1979 season and allowed us to bask in the glory on the days that we won. 
Chuck Tanner was about the Pittsburgh Pirates, and he's also about the city of Pittsburgh in Major League Baseball. But he was more than that, too. He was about Western, Pen Western Pennsylvania and so proud of the area that he grew up and lived in, especially his hometown, New Newcastle. So today, we are here to honor Chuck Tanner and, and each of us, a little bit of his spirit will always continue on. And when, within each of you, a little bit of his spirit will carry on also. So thank you for honoring Chuck, our friend, our manager, our protege. Thank you, Teak. Well said. And now we ask you to direct your attention to the video board. Well, I've had a lot of tremendous things happen to me. I, it's, it's unbelievable. Like the first time up in the major leagues, the first pitch I ever saw with the Milwaukee Braves, I hit a home run opening day to help Warren Spawn win the game. Uh, I won the All-Star game, and I pinched hit Ken Griffey against a left-hander, Tommy John, and he was the most valuable player with that pinch hit home run. Uh, we win the World Series, and, and every day I put the uniform on, and every day that I'm associated with baseball, to me, is, is as big a thrill as you can get in life. Uh, just a lot of uh, tremendous respect for Chuck as a manager because he knew how to handle players. He knew how to take a mesh of players that were black, white, Latin, Puerto Rican, that couldn't talk very well, couldn't understand each other, but one thing, he knew how to make them play ball. I always loved Chuck. Chuck is the most positive human being I've ever met. And people don't realize that he's one of the strongest human beings you ever met. If you wrong him or if you say something back to him, he can pick you up by his shirt and pick you up in the... He did that one time to me. He got me against the wall and picked me up. Nah, who's your boss? I said, you are, sir. You are, sir. Chuck was great. Chuck Tanner is one of the finest men I've ever met. Uh, on the field and off the field. I have uh, quite a few years in the game. I played for uh, quite a few great managers. Earl Weaver, Billy Martin, Gene Malt. Then came Chuck Tanner, one of the finest. Uh, man, of nice people. I learned a lot from him. And not just in a uh, part of playing a game, but how to treat people. When I think about Chuck Tanner, I watch him work a room sincerely and legitimately and uh, see about uh, uh, the way he distributes his best gift. The best gift that any of us have is the gift of time. And the way Chuck has distributed that gift of his time throughout the years is just absolutely, absolutely marvelous. When I think of you in so many ways, it makes my heart feel good. Uh, it, it's hard to explain. The love I have for the game is next to God and my family. and. I just know that I could never have done anything better in my life. I know where it took me, what it, what I received from the game, and I just know that uh, it's the greatest game on this earth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to be joined on the field here with Chuck's sons, Bruce Tanner and Mark Tanner, and their families. Well, Tanner family, as you know, the Pirates considered Chuck to be the patriarch of our family, too. Your father provided guidance to our young players. Among the values he strived to instill in them were many of the ones he himself embodied, an unwavering enthusiasm, a strong character, loyalty, and dedication. He set an example for our current players of what it means to be a Pittsburgh Pirate. And in one of his favorite sayings, to never, ever, ever quit. He was the most positive person many of us will have ever met in our lifetimes. It was said of Chuck Tanner that if he had been the captain of the Titanic, 
he simply would have told his passengers that they were just stopping for ice. What a great man and a great example for all. And it was in that example that the Tanner family and Pirates Charities established the Chuck Tanner We Are Family Fund, a memorial fund in Chuck's name that will be presenting an award annual to a minor league staff member who best exemplifies Chuck's optimism, enthusiasm, work ethic, and leadership, and will be presented each year during spring training, something Chuck always referred to as the greatest time of the year. The winner of that inaugural Chuck Tanner Award presented during spring training was golf league coach Mike Lum. And just as we have awarded Mike for his leadership, we are certain that if he were here and alive today, Willie Stargell would have placed a Stargell star on each one of you. With inspiration from Willie, our coaches and players will wear a Stargell star embossed with your father's number, number seven, for the entire 2011 campaign. And Willie's fellow alumni are here to present a framed Tanner jersey with that patch to you the Tanner family. Your father was a class act. He carried himself with grace, humility, and integrity. He was more apt to greet you with a hug than a handshake. He spent his entire life in Newcastle, a place where he was simply known as Chuck, where you could more than likely see him at his restaurant where he loved to talk ball or talk about his four wonderful sons and his very best friend of all, his wife, Babs. For all those reasons, the word champion refers to not just his World Series ring, but also to how he led his life as a member of your family and ours. If you would direct your attention to the right center field wall between the Xfinity sign and the Heinz ketchup bottle, a tribute to the lasting impact your dad had on the Pittsburgh Pirates. We're hanging up his championship jersey on our outfield wall to serve as a tribute to your father throughout this season. Ladies and gentlemen, how about one more round of applause because we know he's looking down on us today for the life and the memory of the great Chuck Tanner.